to treat humanely and with compassion. You were there for 12 years. So what, what was, there, was there a straw that, the final straw? Um, wh why did you leave? What, what, what caused that to happen? So the catalyst for me was there was a walrus that would eventually be brought into Marineland that, and it's, it's impossible to, to accurately describe what my, the, well, my, how powerful my relationship is with her, but what happened was there was this incident and she, I imprinted on her, she believed me to be her mother. So when this happened, this is when your perspective really starts to change because now I'm not separating mother and child, I'm not watching, I am the mother now. Like, so the prospect of leaving it becomes obviously a, a lot more challenging, especially in light of the fact that my separation from her created health and anxiety issues for her. And admittedly, myself as well, to a certain extent. I mean, I call it sort of a cursed blessing, my relationship with her, because you know, it was that relationship and the basis of the strength of that relationship is to what became my resolve to leave. As which well I, should, I should maybe introduce you as the walrus whisperer, which is <laughs> an alter ego of yours. Um, yeah, some would wonder if it's my most natural state. <laughs> so, but it was there, so obviously that relationship was both difficult to live through in some ways because of the treatment of the animals there, but also difficult to leave. Was it just a, just a, a build up over those 12 years of, of mistreatment of animals and then you finally said, you know what, I'm going from professional trainer to whistleblower? The decision to go from trainer to whistleblower happened after I quit. The decision to quit was amidst an agreement between Marineland and I that I would still be able to have a relationship with the walrus I was able to visit her, and that they would call me if they needed my experience, because when I left, I'd, I'd, I'd had the most experience, and you know, I was, it wasn't real comfortable with the hands I was leaving it. Not any personal offense to anybody that still or then worked there, but I just, the level of experience was, you know, there was a big, there was a big difference. So my leaving had everything to do with a, I mean, obviously there, there's, a, there's a breaking point. My breaking point was this uh, disinfection unit uh, water disinfection broke in the latter portions of the end of the season of 2011 and it so that lasted from October till about I think the complacency from management lasted until well the day I quit and it wasn't until the day I quit that they they rather urgently uh, dumped all the toxic water is how I would describe it or is how I would